Hey dear Poké fans, this is Quirky Saffron and welcome to the 50th video in my channel. It's been a great journey and I look forward to continue with it. So today I'm going to be giving you 5 tips to maximize your chances of winning those locks that you do. So let's get on with the video without any further ado and I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so the first tip is going to be to familiarize yourself with Nuzlocks. First of all, Nuzlocks are a way to make Pokemon games more challenging. There are three primary rules in Nuzlocks, which are um, if a Pokemon faints, you can't use them in battle again and you have to either box them or release them. Secondly, you can only catch the first Pokemon that you encounter in an area. And thirdly, you have to nickname all your Pokemon so that you can grow attached to them. So, Nuzlocke, since I have completed one and Sapphire is a decently hard ROM to Nuzlocke in, I can see that Nuzlocke are not really hard and I can just only see that they have a bad reputation. So, I'd say that if you can familiarize yourself with the Nuzlocke rules, you can ace pretty much any Nuzlocke that you attempt, provided you don't get a crit one shot. So the second tip that I'd like to give is to keep your teams diverse. See in Pokemon Nuzlocke, there is an entirely different set of Pokemon roles which I'll be covering in later points. So. If you keep your teams diverse, there will be a high chance that you will be able to escape a battle without being blacked out. For example, if you have a team that is dominated by fire types like Blaziken or Colossal, then if you encounter a really strong water type Pokemon, which is highly viable in a randomized Nuzlocke, there are chances that you are going to black out very easily. And not only that, uh, a diverse team will help you tackle any Pokemon in general and will also reduce the number of deaths that you will encounter throughout your Nuzlocke. Alright, so the next tip is mainly for beginners who haven't yet familiarized with the Nuzlocke rules. Stock up on healing items and do not hesitate to spend all of your money on Pokeballs and healing items because these are the things that will save your Nuzlocke. For example, if you find a really good strong Pokemon, even a shiny on your first encounter, and you don't have any Pokeballs to catch it, what do you do? You can't just cheat in that Pokemon, right? So that's why you should always have Pokeballs in your bag, and I don't need to explain why um, healing items aren't necessary for Nuzlocke, do I? Because uh, healing items, can with help in winning very crucial Pokemon battles when you will almost have a fixed chance of being blacked out. So I suggest use up all your money and don't keep anything for regretting later. Alright, so this point and the next point is going to be very crucial if you are going to attempt a Nuzlocke. Always prioritize bulk Pokemon because bulky Pokemon are what could be the difference between you winning a Nuzlocke and losing a Nuzlocke because bulky Pokemon are an effective way to deal with critical hits which are one of the most potent threats that can end Nuzlocke and it has happened with the best of players. Also, bulk Pokemon are really useful because if the Pokemon is bulk, you can be more reckless in attack. For example, in my Sapphire Nuzlocke, I used uh, Swallot and Hariyama on my team. And both of them are pretty underwhelming Pokemon, but it is because of their bulk that they have been so useful. Hariyama was of great help during the Elite Four in sweeping Glacia's team, and I'm very grateful that I made the decision of using bulk Pokemon. So in all, I would like to say that bulk Pokemon are the secret of winning Nuzlocke, and I think you should always keep a team of bulk Pokemon whenever you're doing a Nuzlocke. Okay, so the final tip of this video is going to be to 
Avoid Glass Cannons is a Pokemon rule for Pokemon who are rare for sweeping Pokemon. Presently, if I think of an example of a glass cannon, the best one I can think of is Toxico, the poison fighting type from the Sinnoh region. See, um, you can always sweep teams using Pokemon, that is very satisfying, I agree with you, but if the Pokemon has sturdy, that the one which attack, and it knocks you out in one blow, then you will just be losing team members and that is not what you want. So always remember to avoid glass cannons and use bug Pokemon as I said in the previous point. Therefore, if you even use um, mid-range Pokemon like Charizard, I mean that is also kind of a glass cannon because um, it is mainly used for attacking but it's not that frail so I figure you could use it for Nuzlocke. Alright, so there are my 5 tips for Nuzlocke in Pokemon. If you have any video ideas, they are most welcome in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to them if it's good or bad, I don't care. And we are very close to 500 subscribers which is a big big milestone for me. And so let's reach that milestone ASAP and this is Quirky Saffron signing off and I'll see you in the next one.